We demonstrate a new style of human interface and some educational application on this large interactive electronic whiteboard. We call our system Idea Board. When you start to use an application, you can set the position and size of its window by a continuous pen action. You can pop up application pages, and you only have to uh, tap an application icon and uh, drag the pen to the direction and to the amount according to which the position and uh, the size are determined. Since they are visually feedback, you can detach the pen when you think best. This is the first small application, uh, and it's an image viewer. In order to resize or scroll it, we invoke a control that contains a resize button and a scroll button. When I select either of them, uh, other area will disappear, and I can change the view while showing as much area uh, as possible. And uh, I can scroll in this way. This can dispense with fixed scroll areas. Next is a book viewer. Tapping on a page turning button uh, many times on a vertical board is very hard uh, for a standing user. By this application, I can browse a book by dragging the pen to the direction that I want to go. I can trigger page turning by the dragging at any position. And if I continue dragging, pages are successfully, successfully turned over. Here, a child writes an arithmetic expression. as well as the result, the system answers uh, where, where is wrong in, in the answer. We can add a character, then the answer is correct. This is an application for teaching programming. A teacher can write a program in this way, but I will load a file uh, because it takes time. Then I can make the system recognize this Hamilton program and execute in front of the students. I can modify this program, recompile, then I can execute. Then, loop is made only 10 times. This is again a small application. By using the spin button designed for this uh, idea board, we can select a number and we can start a roulette. This is used to select a student to answer my questions. Uh, the teaching materials are hidden as little as possible uh, so that the student can see the contents. Then let me move to the user interface components. We have made 17 user interface components suitable for the large interactive whiteboard in order to develop effectively such applications as I presented. Here we will show some of them and how we made their subjective evaluations. The design considerations of the components are described in the paper. The left is a common GUI component, while the right is our idea board component. This is a spin button and we can select a number 
in this way. By using our uh, component, we can select the number like this. They are common scroll bars. While using our uh, component, we can scroll in this way. This is a set of uh, check boxes, and we can set them on by tapping. In our component, we rather uh, use uh, dragging and we can set in this way. But also, we can set them off uh, by a single action, like this. This is a set of uh, radio buttons, and we can select uh, right one in this way. By using our component, we can roughly select and uh, uh, finally uh, determine the target in this way. This is a usual way to move a window. But our <coughs> method is a stretchable pointer and we can move a window in this way. This is, this is a usual list, list box. By using our list box, we can uh, get a wider view, then the, we can select the target in this way. We made a subjective evaluation on these components. Ten subjects tried conventional user interface components and our components. After trying them as much as they like, they marked their subjective preferences from minus five to five to the, to the slider under each component. The result is summarized in the paper, and we think that our component is better for the large interactive whiteboard. Thank you for your attention.